Every time I talk about solar, I get a bunch of comments from electricians and solar installers talking about how dangerous this is because you're dealing with really high voltage DC energy, which as we all know, if you get shocked by, there is about a 60% chance that you'll end up with superpowers. And then when you have those superpowers that comes with like a bunch of headaches and then you have to deal with the, with great power comes great responsibility and all of that stuff. And, and don't nobody got time for that. But what if I told you that I was aware of a product that could give you the confidence just by using it and not have to worry about getting superpowers from the solar panels damaging the electrical system or worst case scenario hurting yourself and that product is in these little baggies let's hook up these solar panels safely with the right things so that you don't have to worry about the safety problems that come along with it you're probably aware that solar panels make dc power if you're not there's a difference between the DC power that comes from the solar panels and the AC power that you have in your house. So with a DC circuit, we need to determine two things. First, you'll notice there's two wires coming out of every solar panel. One is negative and one is positive. We need to determine which one is which. The second thing we have to determine is how we're going to wire it. And that has to do with your application. There are two basic ways to wire a solar array in parallel and in series. Let's pretend that you're gonna hook this up on an RV and there's a bunch of stuff in the RV that is 12 volts. These panels are 12 volts, your charge controller is 12 volts, and the battery system that you're gonna hook up to it is 12 volts. Well, then you want a parallel connection, which is all of the pluses hooked up together and all of the negatives hooked up together. What that's going to do is multiply the amperage times however many panels you have, but the voltage is going to stay the same. Because of our application, we're going to do a series connection. Series connections are a lot more efficient because they increase voltage while keeping the amperage low. And when you push a lot of amperage through a wire, it creates heat because Wires are non-zero resistance conductors, and that resistance generates heat. That heat is actually a loss of energy. So there are certain applications where you're gonna wanna use parallel connections, but for the most part, you're gonna do a series connection, which is the plus of one to the minus of the next, and the plus of that one to the minus of the next, and so on and so forth. There's a total number of those kind of connections that you can make in a system like this. But with four 12 volt panels, we're well within that range. So the first thing we have to do is determine which wire is the plus and which is the minus. In most cases, if you buy a panel new, the connectors that come on the outside of them are going to be labeled plus and minus, or the wire is gonna be labeled plus and minus. Yeah, and sometimes people will get confused and they think that these wires need to be put into conduits. They do not. They're, they're actually a PV wire, photovoltaic wire, which um, has a UV rating so they don't break down in the sun. This wire is made by Tianhuan Photovoltaics, which, you know, they make the highest quality uh, PV wire on the market. And there's some inside baseball kind of like industry rumblings that they are actually thinking about getting into the industrial glycine market. And if they do that, Don Wang Jinlong industrial grade glycine is really gonna wanna start up in their game or doing something to just deliver a little extra to the customer, you know what I mean? As soon as uh, Jiaming Tian Huan photovoltaic wire starts throwing the gauntlet down in the industrial grade glycine market, you know, all hell's gonna break loose. So, Don Wang Jilong, you've been warned. All right, so this is our chance to figure out which wire is which. So, I've got my multimeter up here, it's set to the 200 volts uh, DC side, and I've got my red lead up against this wire uh, in the back here, and my black lead up against this one and you'll notice that it's showing a negative voltage that negative voltage means that my leads are reverse polarity right because the red should be connected to the plus and the black should be on the negative so 
when I go and I switch these around, now it's a positive voltage. That means that I know the wire that has the red lead on it is the plus. So I'm just gonna take that and you can mark it with tape or whatever. I happen to have some wire nuts here, so I'm just gonna throw a wire nut on it. That's my positive lead. You do that with all of these wires and you can determine which wires are gonna connect to each other to make your series connection. Yeah, I did a wardrobe change because I do what I want. I was talking about these special products that give you confidence and make it safe to connect up all your solar panels. These are the positive and negative connectors known as MC4 connectors. 90 plus percent of all of the new solar panels that you'll buy will have these connectors already on them. They come with these crimp on connectors. If you do have a used panel or one that doesn't have a connector on it, just has bare wire, this is how you put those on. And mind you, we're gonna keep the wire nuts on every wire that we're not working on. So there's no way for the negative to touch the positive, creating an arc and being dangerous. Because a DC circuit requires both the negative and the positive for current to flow. All right, we're stripping about three eighths of an inch off. Now, wherever you buy your MC4 connectors from, there'll be directions on how much you should uh, trim off, the, way, the best way to make the connection itself. So we've got that part stripped. Make sure it's nice and straight and also tight. And you make sure this part is loose. And you put them in until you hear a click. So then you tighten this part down and that closes a gland on the wire. And that gland closes in on the wire making a nice water resistant connection. And you got your positive. Now you do the same thing with your negative. Give them a nice squeeze. Another pull test and we're good. Under no circumstances do you connect th these wires from the same panel together. You're making a series connection. It has to be a plus from one to the minus of another panel. Do not connect these two together. The MC4 connector is your friend. Then once we've made our series connection to all the different panels together, all we have to do is take the positive from this panel and the negative from that panel and make one connection to the wires that go over there. Now you've never come in contact with any of the voltage. Everything's been connected already. And all you gotta do is click, click, and then turn your charge controller on. And that's the entirety of this part of the wiring. So I'll do all of that stuff off camera and I'll show you in the next video what that looks like. And then we'll also finish connecting all of the DC components. See you then.